So I got a new camera today, so I figured I would do a little camera test, see what the quality is like once it's uploaded to YouTube. And somebody ans uh, uh, requested that I do a video on a little update on Alice the Cuban Boy, so I figured I'd kill two birds with one stone and show both. So the camera, I'm not going to bother doing a review on it, but it's a Samsung SMX. SMX F30 so there's loads of reviews on that on YouTube so I'm not going to bother doing a review on this particular camera but uh, yeah just look it up on YouTube and as far as a uh, update on Alice goes she's doing great hasn't grown that much she's grown a little bit though uh, she's on small mice every two weeks now yeah. it's the first time I've used this camera and I've never been able to get that close with my other cameras I had to get a new camera my Nikon Coolpix which was the expensive one, I think it was about 250 well I didn't pay 250 for it, I bought the second hand I paid 75 for it. I think they're worth about 250 new, or they were when they came out. This is a 1080p, and it just doesn't work. The batteries ran out on it, and I went to put brand new batteries in it. And what the hell is that? That means I'm going to have to quarantine Alice because that was a reptile mite uh, shit anyway uh, yeah battery ran out, put fresh batteries in, wouldn't work bought new fresh batteries, put those in, wouldn't work so the camera just doesn't work I think when the batteries went out they shorted something in the camera so I had to buy a new camera, that's the reason why I haven't been doing many uh, videos recently but uh, the new camera I bought from CEX and I paid £35 for it second hand I think they're worth about 117 110 117 something like that new anyway enough of the camera on Alice so as far as an update goes like I say temperament she's perfect she's actually in shed right now so she can be a little jumpy you can see that her eyes of or maybe she's not her eyes have cleared so she'll probably be shedding sometime tonight or tomorrow or with, definitely within the next three days I would imagine but uh, she's on extra uh, small rats now every two weeks apparently she's got reptile mites so she'll have to be quarantined and I'm gonna have to check the other snakes now make sure those don't have mites and she's in a four foot by four, uh, two foot by two foot exoterra Terranium, and uh, that's pretty much the update. That's all I can really say on her. See if you can get a look at her iridescence. Usually, it's a lot better than that, but like I say, she is in shed, so she's going to look a little duller than she usually does. Uh, as far as the age goes, she's about three and a half I think I'll have to have a look on the photos on Facebook to get an idea of exactly how old she is like any good person who was keen on reptiles I took photos of her the day I got her and uploaded those to Facebook so yeah I think she's about three and a half though but uh and she's a bit of a handful she's very strong for her size I think she's about four no she's a bit longer than that Maybe he's pushing five foot. Doesn't look like that on the camera, but it's really hard to stretch her out. She's actually quite heavy as well for her size, so my arms starting to ache a little bit holding her out in front of the camera. And she's starting to cut the blood circulation off to my arm and my hand. So yeah. That's pretty much all I can say on her really as far as an update goes. So I'll end the video now. Thanks for watching and goodbye. And tomorrow I'm going to take the new camcorder out and see if I can film some 
uh, wildlife with it because so far it seems to be a really good high quality camera so we'll see what it's like out in the woods maybe get some deer red squirrels maybe some rabbits definitely get some pheasants there's thousands of those things around and uh, yeah that's a little update on us thanks for watching and goodbye and it's a goodbye from her